Hello and welcome to the SysCard tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to tell you about thumbnail settings. Thumbnails are the pictures that are used in your store. You can find them here, at the category page, here. They can also be of different sizes and forms, like this, small pictures and the smallest. So as you can see they can be of uh, different types. Let me show you one more type. Yeah, one more type is the big picture, like this, used at the product pages. By the way, SysCart automatically creates them from uh, your original picture that you upload into the system. Now let's go to the settings page. Thumbnail settings can be found in settings, thumbnails. We can divide these settings into several groups. The first group is uh, these three settings, common settings. Next, uh, the next group is about product pictures. The third group is about category pictures and the last one is the admin panel pictures. Alright, let's move on. Thumbnail background color. As you know, not all the pictures that are uploaded in uh, to system are perfect squares. Some of them may be rectangles, triangles, or even circles. That's where the background color comes in handy. This color fills the gaps between the picture and the page. For example, now we have white page uh, for the categories and uh, for the store as a whole. And uh, that's why we use this pattern. This pattern means that the background color of the thumbnail picture will be white. Now I'm going to change it into the black one. Okay, we need to enter three zeros, save it, and then go to the storefront. Oh, and by the way, after saving all the changes on the thumbnails um, settings page, I recommend you to go to storage and clean up generated thumbnails that will help um, to apply changes correctly. Yeah, thumbnails have been removed and now we can go to the category. Now I will refresh the category page and you will see the difference between white background color and black background color. Here we go. As you can see, uh, pictures can be different. Some of them are perfect squares and some of them rectangles. Some of them can be tall, others can be short and uh, that's what the background color is used for to fill these gaps let's move on there is no need in demonstrating other two settings so let's just make it quick thumbnail format same as source jpeg png and gif simple enough and uh, next one is JPEG format quality from 0 to 100. Uh, 0 means that and your pages does. will load faster, but uh, the quality of your pictures will be lower. Now let's speak about product thumbnails. Product list, thumbnail width, product list, thumbnail height. Product list means category page. Okay, you can ask why we have two numbers here and only one number here, here and here. Let me explain this. Uh, on the category page, all the products are locked in the grid. So we have products to the right, products to the left, up and under. That's why we have to enter both width and height. Let me show you what will happen if we enter only one of them. Like this. And uh, no, I will leave this space blank. Now I'm gonna save it. and. Uh, Back to the category page. Alright, here we go. I'll refresh the category page. Voila! Well, we don't have um, the black lines anymore, but as you can see, now the product's pictures don't hold their form, they don't hold the line. You can call it this way. Look here. Yeah, this picture and these pictures. Also, you can compare this picture and these pictures. That doesn't look too good. I think you agree with me. That's why we need to use both parameters here. Let's move on. Alright, product details page. Product details page is the separate page for the product. I think that's clear. So uh, the pictures on the details page must be bigger than at the category page or at the cart page for example and so on. Okay, 
uh, quick view. This is the thumbnail picture that is displayed when you press the quick view button. Card page, the pictures displayed in the card, then you go to the card page, uh, then you order something and then you edit some products to the card. I think simple enough. In all uh, these cases you don't need to enter the second parameter. It's not necessary because uh, the pictures are grouped in rows or in lines or in columns. The pictures don't create the grid. All right, let's move on. Now let's speak about something more interesting, about category pictures. Category thumbnails are these small gray pictures. For now we have only pictures for the category list. We don't have uh, detailed pictures. If you wish, you can upload them manually uh, for your store and so on. Uh, for example, let's go into computers. And uh, as you can see, we don't have the pictures for the subcategories. And we don't have a detailed picture for the uh, computer section. All right, uh, let's move on. And the last thing here, product mini icon thumbnails. Let me show you them. For this, uh, we need to go to the products. Products at the admin panel, of course. Here they are, these small pictures, small thumbnails that are used especially for the catalog inside the admin panel. That's it for today. As you can see, you can adjust thumbnails as you see fit with just two numbers. And don't forget to use the right background color for your thumbnail pictures. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAR tutorial videos.